What is up y'all, welcome back. Guess what? I think we're adding a new vessel to the fleet today, y'all. Complete impulse buy, I found the thing on Facebook Marketplace late last night. The seller is in Denton, like right next to the Guggen Warehouse, the HQ. And it is what I think is a good price, but I'm not too sure because I literally have done no research on this specific model boat. It says it's got no leaks. I don't want to spoil too much but it seems like a great deal. You guys are gonna have to let me know. Also, we're gonna need help naming this new vessel. I am pumped to show you guys this thing. We're gonna do a full walk around in today's video, tell you all about it. And I was gonna upload a video about a new reel today, but I had to put that on hold. This is like an emergency upload. It came out of nowhere. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. So this is gonna add to not only the bank stuff, but the kayak footage and the big bass boat stuff. We're adding something else in you guys can probably already guess. And if you haven't seen the title or thumbnail and it gave it away, you're about to find out. I spent the stimulus check. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah, we got it and it disappeared just as fast as it arrived. <laughs> I haven't even shown him yet, man. So we made it over to Guggen HQ. You guys have probably already guessed what we've got here. And ta-da! <laughs> you guys are gonna have to help us name it. This is a 1974, dude. 1974 Alchita, 14-foot John boat. The thing's been uh, did up and done. It's been resealed in a couple areas, and she floats. Casey, the dude I bought it from, was so awesome to deal with, and he's fixed this thing up. It's got carpet all over the place. Little cubby in here for the floaties, the safety gear, a battery for the trolling motor up front. We've got a battery in the box in the back for whatever we want to power back here. It's gonna probably be this other little Minn Kota I'm gonna show you guys. I am super stoked to add this thing to the fleet. We've got the kayaks now, which are actually chilling over here on the green trailer. Please drop down in the comments what you think we should name the new John boat. We have the Red Ranger, the hot tamale. You guys helped us with that. Now we need your help with the, I don't know what to call it, uh, the cheetah. Nothing outruns the cheetah. <laughs> so we're gonna put that to the test with the out cheetah, man. I never even heard of this boat brand. This was such an impulse buy. I got on Facebook Marketplace last night and I saw a John boat in my area for what I thought was cheap. You guys let me know. We spent 1500 bucks on this thing and then an extra 37 bucks to get a new drop hitch because I wanted to keep a one and seven eighth inch ball on there. And we'll just switch the hitches whenever we wanna cruise around with the kayaks or the hot tamale, making things a lot simpler. It's pretty tough to try and switch these things out on a daily basis. So we have just got two different hitches now. It's looking pretty good and level at the moment. So this is an eight inch drop hitch. We've got a four inch lift on the Tundra with 35s and we have a six inch drop hitch that we use for the hot tamale and the kayaks over yonder. But they've got some bigger tires. I just assumed the ball might need to be a little bit lower on the hitch to accommodate this guy right here. So we got the eight inch and she's looking pretty flat and level. Uh, I don't know. I think that's what you want to do for like optimal driving conditions is have the boat flat and level or do you want it up a little bit? I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know. But let's give you guys the full tour front to back. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box. Guys, if you have not jumped on the Mystery Tackle Box subscription service, you absolutely have got to give it a shot. We have been with MTB, strong supporters of the channel, for over two years after trying out our first couple boxes and absolutely loving them. So, what this service is, new baits at your doorstep every single month. There's different tiers to choose from as far as the type of baits you'd like in your boxes, as well as catering it to the species you would like to catch. So I have the Bass Pro box right here. There's also trout boxes, panfish boxes with baits catered to target those fish. So literally we have a top water because the season is cranking up. It's spring, the water is heating up. You cannot have any more fun fishing than getting a huge bass blow up on a top water bait. Something like this blooper right here will get the job done. Night Club in all black color is absolutely gonna catch fish. Just chunk that right along the bank lines, right at sunset, right at sunrise. Highest chances, oh my goodness, forget about it. We have a Westin Company. Crankbait, check this out man, a shallow diving crankbait. So with these square bills, it's got that bill on the front, what that means is that it's gonna float, but when you reel it, it's gonna start diving down and it's gonna start scurrying. It looks just like the bait fish that those bass are targeting in those ponds already and eating on a day-to-day -day basis. And then when you cruise by with something like this with treble hooks on there so you don't miss many hits, forget about it, you're gonna absolutely get them. I like to target rock with my crankbaits. We're almost back to the boat tour, y'all, but what else do we have in this box? We have got some shaky heads. This is gonna pair perfectly with these worms that I see come with it. These are Biospawn Plasma Tails with Bioscent. Check this out. It's like a natural green pumpkin color, but with a chartreuse tip. So what I'm gonna do with these right here is absolutely grab one of these worms out of the packaging, twist it onto that screw lock, 
Texpo's the hook in there, so I'm gonna be completely weedless, and I'm gonna have a dream shaky head setup fresh out of the box. But there is more. We have a jig as well, a true big bass catcher right here. And lastly, we have, uh, what are these? They're like creatures, like craw bait. Open these up. Oh, whoo There's some scent on those babies. Look at this, y'all. You could also throw this on the shaky head. You've got two of them in here, so you could have the worm rigged up and have this craw rigged up on another combo and be ready to go no matter what the bass are in the mood for. You are absolutely set. And Mystery Tackle Box is not just gonna send you one box. If you sign up for a six month or one year program, you're gonna get boxes every single month like yours truly. We've been loving the service ever since. You can sign up and get your first box for as low as $10 with the link in the description. Check it out now, back to the video. We got the lock right here. Basically, you push this guy in and then you lift up and you can get that off of the trailer hitch. We have a jack, so I can simply undo that and toss this guy right there for storage. We got the whole crank down pulley system for the front to keep her strapped tight. Probably gonna get a new pinwheel things from the local academy. Tiny little wheels, probably safe for 60, 65 miles per hour, who knows? I think we're just gonna hit some smaller bodies of water and really get this thing into some sketchy situations. Toss the truck in four wheel and hit some water that we have never seen on the channel. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We can have guests on this thing. I would say two to three people having a good time is no issue. I also know it's always been fun to watch people modifying their John boats from start to finish from just the bare hold, getting it all carpeted and did up and done. But this thing still, even though it has the carpet and it's got a little trolling motor up front, there's definitely room to modify and improve upon its current state. So let me know what modifications you guys want to see. You got this guy right here for your rods, little strap. In fact, let's grab a rod real quick. I actually brought two of our biggest rods in the lineup just to see how they fit on this bad boy. I've got a big swim bait rod, about eight foot, and then I have a seven foot five muscle rod. So check this out. Here we go. Strapped down and ready to go. I bet you we're gonna have this thing decked out with six or seven rods though at some point with Devin and I going on some big time fishing adventures, all day trips. Storage compartment right here. She goes way up there. So we can toss plenty of money bags, tackle boxes, camera bags, also safety gear, as well as it looks like some cables routed in case we want to add some electronics right off the bat. Though we probably won't get much use out of this guy right here, but it is to be determined. I don't know if it's better to spend, I imagine a couple hundred to get these things back up and running, or if it's best to almost go with like, I don't know, what do y'all wanna see? Like a 9.9 .9 little mercury on the back? From what I, I only looked at this like briefly today, but it appears that the mercuries are like 1,000 bucks for a 9.9 .9 horsepower, and the Suzuki's are like two to three grand. And I don't know why, but there's gotta be a good outboard that we could toss on this thing if we want to really hammer down across the ponds and lakes here with this bad boy. Let me grab these other motors out of the truck, and then we're gonna showcase the trolling motor and a few extra features, and then we're gonna park this thing and call it a day. But what a surprise to the channel. Devin and I did not think we were gonna be adding a John boat to the mix here at all anytime soon. And yet here she is. Let us know what you want to see us do with this thing. All right, y'all, we just grabbed all the accessories that Casey included. We're gonna give them the run over. We're gonna show you guys the motors, and then what else do we need to talk about? Here we go, I took the trailer off the hitch, and you can see it is just chilling on the jack stand now. That's how we're gonna leave it probably over there. That space might be getting utilized though. We're gonna find a place for the boat. We have got a battery charger. Keep those batteries charged. He included some uh, extra touch-up paint. That is the same color that he touched it up with the last time. We got some spare carpet just in case, you know, we spill in the Starbucks, who knows. We got the battery box cover here. Toss that bad boy right there. We also got a net, perfect size for the John boat. Gonna work wonders. We got some cushions included. Check us out. Gotta stay cozy on the water. And here is the little Suzuki that he said ran. I think it's 3.5 horsepower. The last time he broke it out, but the thing is, it's got a cracked gas tank, which is no problem because I think you can do that modification where you kind of just run a tube into a larger gas can down here and we could really hightail it across the big water. As well as the pull cable to start the thing has broke, so we'd have to get that and probably like a little carburetor clean. Otherwise, I think the Suzuki might actually run. This guy right here I think is probably toast, but it's tough to say. I might just post that up for sale for some parts. The Johnson Seahorse five and a half. And then here is the Minn Kota motor on the back, specifically the Endura 30 pounds thrust, 12 volts, five speed. And it includes reverse, right? So you got everything you need. And check this out, quick release cable. I know you didn't see that coming. Look at this. Just plug it in the battery. Boom, she's plugged in. Check her out, ready, ready? 
Woo! Crank it up. Oh yeah. Runs and drives. Real quick before I forget, the boat is strapped down here in the front, right? Cinched down up there to keep it tight. And then as far as shifting left to right, we got this bad boy right here locked down with some pens on either side of the trailer. So that's how it's towed without going all over the road. Now for the trolling motor up front, we gotta break into the storage compartment here. Brought a couple money bags just to showcase all the room we got in here for tackle. Boom, easy does it. But what I actually need to do is plug in the front trolling motor so we can showcase that bad boy. All right, plugged in, unstrap. Launch this thing. That stays locked there. Give it a little tug. Flip her on up. This would of course be a lot easier if I was on the deck of the boat, right? The motor on the front is actually a little different. Check this thing out. So we've got it down here. You can see there's that clearance right here. There's also a secondary handle that you can rotate with these locking pieces right here. So I could have that handle just kind of extended up towards me. Now you see we've quickly adjusted that handle on the fly so we can be up front steering nice and easy with a larger handle that's gonna be much easier accessible if you're standing up. And then all you gotta do is step on the old foot pedal right here, check this out. So I've already got it in forward. I'll put it on max speed, just so we can start flying in here in the warehouse. And I'm gonna hit this button. Here, I'll do it simultaneously, ready? Oh, dog. So we got the foot switch for the motor down below. Crazy, man, this is pretty cool. This guy is the Minn Kota Edge with 45 pounds of thrust, five speed. There we go, stored nice and neatly. Toss this back on here, locked and ready for the next adventure. All right, y'all, that is the new John boat. I hope you dig it. Drop comments, let us know what we should do with it. Help us pick out a name for the new beast. We plan on taking it out a lot here in the very near future. Like I said, impulse buy, I had to grab it, bring it over to the warehouse, it's gonna sit for just a minute, but we have big plans for this thing. We might do some renovations, some may say, some remodeling, some upgrades. But with that being said, I have got to toss this thing in the corner over here. I got to switch the hitch, get those kayaks, and we're gonna take those things out over the next couple of days. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We gotta test all this thing out on the water and catch some giant fish. Until then, you guys, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.